Okay, so because I'm either really smart or really stupid, I decided to uh, flash a 165 watt BIOS onto my XG Mobile because I really wanted to get that top time spy slot. Anyways, uh, so what that did for me is it actually opened up my memory clock completely. I can move this to anywhere I want, so I now have not only full control of the memory clock, but also uh, the ability to control, um, well, to have an extra uh, 15 watts on top of what I was already getting. So that should be able to put us very top in the times by ranks, I hope. So let's go ahead and try it out and see if I'm finally going to claim the title for a mobile 3080 and a 5900HS CPU. So we're doing a little bit better, uh, 12538, and that is the best we've ever done, very close to the record of 12959. I'm just trying to figure out how I can eke a few more percentage points out of this thing. Um, so far, well, I am, I do have the, the memory at 500 now. It's just, I'm seeing some artifacts on the screen, and, uh, I, pushing that anymore and I think I'm gonna get an invalid result uh, I guess I can try pushing the clock a little bit more I've done that 240 in the past but uh, we'll just have to see I'm gonna let it cool off and give it one more go by the way that last run got us at uh, third in the world here so we're not doing too shabby uh, we just need a few more points to really get things claimed. So, uh, again, I'll see if I can figure something out. Alright, I've gone back to my previous <laughs> last resort, and that's these ice packs. Uh, we're currently third in the world, but we're going to go for broke. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a shot. All right. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to to call it. Uh, we did get third in the world on this uh, go around, but uh, for whatever reason, uh, I can't get my memory clocks any higher without it crashing, even though they're much lower than these memory clocks of the higher uh, of the number one slot. Uh, and I don't know if I mean, I don't know exactly what computer this person is using but uh, maybe it's just a, a sample. Despite having pretty low memory clocks, we are really doing well. Third in the world, uh, and our graphics score overall is, is also quite high. It's very close. 13.452 is what we got. We needed 13.646, so we're just slightly off, but that CPU score, I've never been able to get close to a 10K on that. Um, 9.2... Um, on my previous runs, I got, uh, yeah, 9.2 is the highest I've ever gotten. I think that's limiting me out of being able to, to get over this. But, good run, third in the world. Um, so, uh, we still have, and I will show this, I will show this to you. Um... We do have a record, though, uh, for Port Royal. Port Royal CPU 5900HS and 3080. And you can see we have the number one slot by quite a wide margin, 7892. 
And I haven't redone that. Maybe I'll maybe I'll run the, the that benchmark one more time, and then I'm gonna flash back to stock BIOS because this is just probably of too many watts to be pushing through this little thing, and it scares me. So I don't want to break this fifteen hundred dollar device. So I'm gonna pop it back down after I run a Port Royal score. And we definitely <laughs> did it again. Legendary Port Royal score for this hardware. This is the best run ever done with a 3080 laptop GPU and a 5900HS. So, and that's by a long mile, I would guess. If we go and look at Port Royal, uh, let's go look that up again. Maybe it's showing up there. Maybe it's not. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Number one by a wide margin. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. And go ahead and subscribe if you haven't yet. You know you want to. We'll talk to you later.